Three years after two deadly sawmill explosions in northern BC, it seems progress is being made towards improving safety. The man appointed to overhaul WorkSafe BC has issued a report that has the local steelworkers union happy. The union says any improvement to safety is good, but more is needed. It's back to business for Lakeland Mills, having renewed operations in early December. The man appointed to overhaul inspection methods at WorkSafe BC, Gordon McAtee, released a progress report on implementing his 43 recommendations. 23 of them are already in place, something the Steelworkers Union Local 144 says is progress, but more needs to be done. That's good for our industry and for members and employees who work in the forest industry. Uh, the other thing that needs to be done is, is the following uh, recommendations that haven't been implemented and we're hopeful that the government uh, will make them go forward with those recommendations so we can have a safe place for uh, people to work in the forest industry. McAtee was appointed by Labour Minister Shirley Bond back in July to toughen the rules around WorkSafe BC. Good progress has been made. There, are st there is still work to be done. But I, uh, I, I have to say that uh, there has been an aggressive pr approach at WorkSafe to ensure that we are moving forward on the recommendations that are so critical. She says of the 23 recommendations that have been reached, Bond says one is very significant for families. One of the things that I wanted to be sure did not happen again was a situation where we did not see regulatory charges, for example, proceed because of the work that had been flawed. So, so that uh, change has been made. McAtee's report also cites progress in sawdust reduction inside mills, something Local 1424 President Frank Everett can attest to. Some of the operations have done an excellent job of, of putting forward the, the changes and making sure that they got a clean environment uh, and a safe environment. Others uh, will need to have uh, that encouragement from uh, the recommendations and from the legislation. The Steelworkers Union has members who tour mills throughout the region to help with health and safety. They're part of efforts to ensure the recommendations are followed through. That's up to us as a people that work in, in the industry to make sure that they follow those recommendations that they talked about and make sure that they're implemented. It's expected legislation to penalize employers who repeatedly ignore orders to end unsafe practices will be debated in the legislature in the coming weeks. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.